Hello and welcome back. Um, in this, we'll do a simple car idea. Um, and in this one, we're going to use the spline tool. So rather than have it be like a blocky car to start and then rounding it off, I'm going to actually start from the beginning um, using curves. Uh, so the spline tool is a great tool for um, making organic and um, really like nice curve curvatures so so it'll it'll be it'll kind of be sporty looking so the first and again I, as i said on the the truck video this is this is it's a guide um use this as a as a creative inspiration um you don't have to copy this uh just kind of i'm going to show you some tricks um, and, and use them and, and sort of go off on your own, like creative journey. So, um, first I'm going to start a sketch and it's going to be on the front plane, but just in case you didn't make your platform like I did in the front plane, click on this face here of the platform. So that's the side, um, that you want to click on. And then, um, we don't need these planes right now. So I'm going to hit the P key to get rid of the planes. Um, and then we're actually going to use this bottom piece of the platform. So hit the U key for use and then hit that um, piece of the platform. And now we're going to use this to build our car up from. So um, the only thing that I'm going to have flat on on this is the back here. So I'm going to I'm going to have a flat sort of um, bumper. And then don't don't worry about the um, measurements. Uh, so those those are going to be um, those are going to just kind of go with your instinct and um, sort of come out with see what you come up with. Um, I'm going to start at the front here. So I'm on the spline tool. I'm going to click that front edge, and every time you click. It's a it's a point of inflection. It's a point where it's a point where the curve can move around, um, kind of like kind of like a joint or a um, not a joint, but a point of inflection. Um, so if I click here, it's gonna it's gonna round itself around there. Um, so this will be the bumper part. And then I'll click again for the windshield and then I'll click again sort of for the um, the back piece oh, that's actually kind of looking like a Porsche um, maybe I'll go a little give it a little fin and then hit escape and um, there you have it uh, you have a little sporty looking um, car profile and feel free to uh, look up some so sports car side view and um, look up your favorite car if you want uh, maybe a McLaren or uh, Lamborghinis or Ferrari or um, maybe a Beetle a VW or a van you could do a minivan you can do anything you want um, just you can actually, and then you can actually use these kind of uh, as a guide. So um, I'm going to just be doing mine freehand, so it'll be kind of like a custom car. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is extrude this over. So hit the extrude button, and um, I want to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. So I need to move that over. And I'm going to extrude it two inches. Check it off. And um, there you have it. You have your sort of basic design. Um, now I'm going to cut out some windows and, and um, maybe a, uh, a door handle. So I'm going to sketch. Um, actually, the first thing I'm going to try to do is add some curvature around it. So if I click on this fillet command, and then I click on this edge here, 
um, I can add some I can add some more dimension to it and then I can click on this edge over here um, to kind of kind of round it off some so it looks pretty cool like that and I can um, I can also reduce the size so 0.1 maybe so it's not as um, as rounded so that looks pretty cool um, and now I can so sketch click on that and then I'm going to um, I'm actually going to use the um, offset tool. So offset O, and then um, I'm going to click on this. Click here, and then reduce that size to um, 0 0.05, and then check it off. Um, go back into that sketch because I'm going to use this as um, as my window so now I'm gonna now I'm gonna make the straight lines so I'm gonna go go from here to there and then another line for the rear portion And again, do what you want to do. Um, I'm just I'm just showing you some tricks. And then I'm going to trim it. M for trim. So trim this section. Trim this section. Trim inside here. And I'm going to make a little handle. Make a handle inside there. All right. So now um, I'm going to extrude, so extrude cut, so extrude, and then remove, and I'm going to remove 0.05. So you got your you got your uh, window and a, a little door handle in there. Um, so that works. That's cool. So the next thing, um, next thing you're going to do is, or I'm going to do, is, is make a couple brake lights, sketch on the back, and um, I'm going to make a LQ, so a construction line from the midpoint, midpoint, and then I'm just going to do a circle. A couple circles, and that looks good to me. Um, then I'm going to mirror those so that I have the same thing on the other side. So um, mirror right here. Select mirror line, the construction line, and then I'm going to select these two entities. We're good, and then I'm going to extrude. And I'm going to remove. 0.05. So now I got some. Um, oh, actually, I extruded. I extruded them out, which is fine. Um, but uh, it would. It'll probably be better to remove. So try removing things, um, just because you you're gonna have to. There would have to be supports when it's 3D printing. So try to remove rather than extrude um, extrude more onto this. You could add a little plate, a little license plate. So it'll go from the, the center here. And then I'll remove that also. So remove 0.05 for the plate. Um, and then to get, so to get the same thing you want the same thing on uh, so this door 
and these windows, if you want the same thing on this side, we're going to um, have to mirror. So if you click on the mirror command, which is this right here, we're going to click on feature mirror. And I'm going to click on these features. So this feature, this feature, oops, this feature. Uh, oh yeah, that, that was just one feature. And then uh, um, I'm going to click on this, select make connector. And I'm going to go to the center and click the center. And then I'm going to see if it worked. And it did work, which is cool. Check it off. And we're good. Um, so the, the tricky part about, about um, drawing on curves is that you can't, you can't create a sketch on a curve. So if I tried to create a sketch and click on, on this curve, notice I can't. So I, I can't make anything um, on, on that curve. So what I'm going to have to do, if I want to create a windshield, right, I'm going to have to create it from a plane that's either in the in, inside of it, or I, I'm going to have to create a, a plane outside outside on on um, a part of the car. So I'm going to actually select this for the sketch, and I'm going to click on my right side. And remember, I'm drawing from this face. And then I'm going to create a shape and cut that shape so that it, it lines up with the car. So click on right. And so what I'm going to try to do is, is sort of get a, get, a, get a windshield that's right here. So click on um, the center rectangle and um, go to the center point here. And then go up and then I'm going to try to get it eyeball it okay so if I leave that I believe it might cut through the hood of my car um, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try to raise that up a little bit um, and just click and drag maybe reduce the size a little bit um, so that looks pretty good. Um, and I'm going to hit extrude, remove, and notice it's not, it's not cutting anything at this point. So, right, so I have my shape out here, and I'm cutting into the car. So I need to click and drag. And I actually could cut through the whole car, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Check it off. Oh, what happened? Uh, merge with all. Eh, that's kind of funky looking. Um, so if you if you are um, if you want to try to cut a windshield into a curve, um, I'm thinking you you might be better off uh, making a plane. So I'm gonna make a plane that's sort of at this angle. Um, So click on plane and um, let's see what I can do here. Um, let's try three point. One, two, Hmm. No, that's not going to work. Um, how about offset? Hmm. 
then line angle. Forty five. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time uh, doing that. Um, So I think I think if you want to do uh, do this, I will help you with it. Um, if you actually want to cut in cut in the rec, otherwise you can you can just do what we did there um, and cut in maybe just not as much. And it might look okay. Um, That's still a little awkward, but um, if you do want to actually do that, um, cut in and make an uh, make a make a plane at an angle. I will help you with that. Um, I don't want to bog down this video right now. So, um, and again, this is just use this as a guide, as a reference, um, and yeah. So have fun and good luck.